Hi everyone, it's Annalisa with Inside Real Estate and today I'm speaking to the Video Plus Lead Legion landing page. Now this is something available to all users in KD Core as well as Conversion Plus. And this is something you can really take off with today. It might look a little daunting, but I think, you know, once you get a couple of these under your belt, it's going to be easy peasy. Now I do wanna mention that today I'm going to speak to how to add a video and we're gonna add a little twist in of the Spanish language because these can be edited to speak any language of which you need it to speak. And I'm also going to show you how you can change a link up on your website for a different language as well. So let's talk about a few things on how uh, these buttons work and then we're gonna walk through how to create one of these. So the whole gist behind one of these Legion landing pages is when you pop it out there to the world on your social media, whenever that contact drops in their email and or cell and clicks this orange button, a series of events happens. There's four things. First, they are registered immediately as a new lead and they land on your dashboard as a new lead. You as a user can include a hashtag of which to track these people and build in that subcategorization. Now, when they click this orange button, you're actually sending them to a URL to gain more information. And that is what this URL after login is. So we can actually grab URLs from our websites, our custom pages, blogs, uh, maybe it's even your lender uh, that you wanna share information with for a call to action. But you can actually put any URL in here to direct them for more information. And the cool thing is, is if your URL is something on your own website, it's actually gonna pre-log them in. So they're not gonna be prompted to log in once they click that button. All of this happens in a snap. Now, when you're filling one of these out, there's a specific order which you need to follow. And I'm gonna go over this and I'll also be including a doc uh, with this video. So you'll be able to have the written instruction and the video to put it all together. So the first thing we're gonna do is speak to this submit button text. We can actually affect change on this orange button. And what I did is I actually went to Google Translate to kind of get an idea of what it might read. And as a caveat here, I do suggest you do not use Google Translate as a practice because we don't know if they're getting the correct uh, for, format, formal uh, Spanish language out there. So make sure you use someone who is a trusted source and expert in the language uh, and knows how to use the correct uh, formals and informals, right? It's an important aspect of that language. So what I did is I went and grabbed, uh, you know, show me the yards. Does your good dog need a bigger yard? Check out these fenced properties, etc. I'm just trying to look for a different way of maybe connecting with other people in my area because anymore, a lot of people consider their dogs their kids. So this might be a fun way of connecting with those folks, right? So I'm just going to grab this sentence here with straw melos yardas, and we're going to copy it, and we're going to go back to our landing page and we're going to paste it into this submit button text. Now, when I click outside of this box, it's going to cement these words on top of this. And as an aside, every time you refresh your page, this video here is gonna start replaying. So be quick on the pause or mute. So when I click outside of this box here, the page will update and we'll see the information has landed on that button. And we're gonna click a little pausey pause and now we're going to work to the URL after login. So where do we wanna send these folks for more information? So what I did is I went to my website and I actually translated this into Spanish, which is pretty cool. All you need to do, if you go to your, the front side of your site and you wanna translate it into a different language is you scroll down to the bottom and you'll see this Google Translate section here at the bottom right hand side. So right now I have it set to Spanish, it was set to English. And now all I need to do is grab this link that's translated in Spanish, go back to my landing page and pop this link in. So we're gonna tie this link to this button. So it ties that action. Once they click the button, where are we sending them? Oh, we're sending them to this URL to see homes in Warwick that have a fenced area. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to URL after login, pop that link in and click outside to cement it to that button. Next, we're going to look at the background and we're gonna come back to tag and video. So you can either say require phone or not here by checking it uh, with the check or removing the check. 
when you do that, the page will reset. So be quick on that uh, mute or pause on that video. And now we're going to actually drop a background in. So there's all sorts of static backgrounds of which we provide, like Super Thoughtful Lady. Uh, however, I went and found this photo of these dogs. So I'm going to copy this photo. And I do want to say as, a, as an aside here is make sure it's a photo that you own or have the rights to use or is public domain. Uh, we don't want, you know, we want to make sure you're not using someone else's intellectual property there. So I'll go ahead and copy this link. And we're going to go to custom background. So we're going to click background, custom background, and paste that link in. And the page is now reset with those puppers in the background. Now we can add in our tag if we want to. So maybe we want to call it, you know, good doggo SP for Spanish. You know, basically when you add in that hashtag, you're saying, okay, what am I going to know and recognize as, an, as a user that's going to resonate with me so I remember where these folks came from? So make sure it makes business sense to you. Uh, and when you look at it, you're like, I know exactly how this got here. I know how to exactly how to identify these targets. Last but not least, we're going to drop a video in. So what I have as I went to YouTube, and there was this cute little video that came uh, through Facebook, I don't know, a week or so ago. But it's basically about this kid using his dog's foot to scroll, right? And I'm like, okay, that'd be kind of a cute thing to look for properties, right? So when you're putting a video in here, whoop, here, YouTube ID, we're going to click share. And then we're only going to, we're actually, we're going to copy this whole thing and paste it in but we're not going to leave this entire link and you're going to delete everything to the left of the youtube code so you're deleting the https colon slash slash youtube forward slash get rid of that and leaving this code only and then when you click outside we're going to see that video land right here so now we have all of the information of which you know across the top completed now we can start working on the body of information now if we want to get rid of our icon we can just double click it to get rid of it and then we can start working on where we where we see text so anywhere you see text on this page can be edited so i went ahead and i'm like okay does your good doggo need a bigger yard so i'm just going to copy that go over here and drop in here paste it in and then I'm going to grab uh, check out these fence properties in Warwick and copy that and I'm going to go ahead and drop that into this second line now these little check marks here serve as bullets they're bulleted points you don't click anywhere they don't take you anywhere they're just information that you can add in if you want to you don't have to use these if you don't want to, but if you have additional information to share, you can drop them in. So you can actually click in and edit this information if you want to. You can also do it with this second line as well. Now, if you want to get rid of a check, double click it but do so with discretion. Once it's gone, it's gone. Ah, I can't spell all of a sudden, sorry. So make sure that if you're gonna double click one of these bullets to get rid of it, do it so with discretion because once they're gone, they're gone. Now, if we give this the once over, we can see, all right, our video's in place. Our button looks good. We've got our link in place. All right, we are good to go. We're going to look to this upper right hand side and click save. And this pop up is going to land and it's basically saying, hey, once you save this, you cannot edit this. So be aware, you know, give it the once over, make sure it's reading how you like it to. And I'm just going to get rid of these bullets here just so it looks a little nicer. 
Uh, so we're going to click Save, and then I'm going to click OK. And we're going to see this link appear. This is your edit. This is the link saying, OK, we're right now we're building this. This is being built right now. As soon as I click Save and OK, we're going to see a new URL land here, which is your final URL. Now we can see we have our link here. We can take to our social media of choice. We can also, you know, we can highlight it and copy it and take it wherever we want. We can also click this little green share guy here and post directly into Facebook, uh, you know, uh, via your system, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest. So via Facebook, I can share it on my own timeline or story. I can share it on a super nice and understanding friends timeline. I can share within a group of which I'm a member. I can create maybe an event. Maybe it's a maybe it's a a tour of homes that have fences for dogs. Who knows? But you can kind of get creative if you wanted to, or even share on your own business page. So if I go to my business, you know, page, I can go to my realty test page. I can go to, um, of course, our pages as a company here. Uh, but I'll go ahead and share this into a group. and I'm going to click post to Facebook. Now, once I click post to Facebook, this pop-up is going to disappear. And if we go now to that group, it'll be under the announcements here. We can see my landing page landed and I can click on it and see the completed landing page. And now whenever somebody drops in their email and or sell, like if I was to sign up here, I know, AOL, laugh it up, it's okay. <laughs> and then you can put in your, you know, they can put in their phone number and click, you know, show me the yards. I'm immediately going to land on my test dashboard as a lead. And it took me to the Spanish translated link. Pretty cool. Now, if you need any help anytime, please chat with support at the bottom right hand side of your dash. Or for KV Core, please email us kvcore at insiderealestate.com or k plus support at insiderealestate.com. Thank you.